Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. We only have one life to live, so give it all you've got to give. Don't let anything or anyone stand in your way. And do it for the love, do it for the joy, do it for your girls, do it for your boys, do it for the rush, do it for the team, do it for yourself, claim your destiny. For gear and expertise, start at Shields, and then get out there to do more of what you love. National Championship has been uh, the goal since day one, ever since uh, I committed to the North, uh, University of North Dakota. I absolutely get that National Championship banner. Um, that's been our goal here every year. We haven't been able to accomplish it. And, uh, I can think of no better way to end my career here in uh, Tampa Bay on a Saturday. We hope to bring that National Championship back to Grand Forks. Uh, as much as it's, we want to do it for the team, we want to do it for the community and the fans who support us all the way through. And, and then we have such a great group of guys that, you know, it, uh, it feels like this is the year that we could really get it done. And we've worked really hard to get to this point. And I just think that, uh, it's just one thing I like, they can, we're just so close that I feel like we can accomplish anything we put our minds to. The number one thing on my list is to, you know, win that national championship for for UND and, and for my friends and family here at, at North Dakota and um, you know that's definitely number one on the list. Outside of Amelie Arena, home of the 2016 NCAA Ice Hockey Championship, thousands of UND fans gathered to cheer on their favorite team. Inside, quiet. The University of North Dakota men's hockey team has been here before, but have left heartbroken many times. Facing the University of Denver in the national semifinals, UND was determined to flip the narrative. This UND team believed it. After a scoreless first period, senior Drake Kajula came out swinging. Besser out in front, right in, a shot and a goal! Besser to Kajula coming right down the middle. And the senior Drake Kajula gives North Dakota a one to nothing lead with his 22nd goal of the season. Pioneers trying to get out of there, picked off, though Kajula shoots and scores! A great forechecking job by North Dakota, freed the puck up, and Kajula picked it off, stepped to the bottom of the circle, rifled it by Gillette, and it's 2-0 UND. But this game was far from over. Denver scored a pair of goals by the midway point of the third that had many UND fans reeling. But not the guys on the bench. Besser to the left of the goaltender, one it to Kajula, shot hit a stick, came to Besser, backhander, rebound, Schmaltz scores! Besser shot blocked, Schmaltz there to backhand the rebound, pass to Lett and UND takes the lead, 3-2, Schmaltz's 11th goal of the season with 56 seconds to go. One more box checked as UND earned it. We will not be denied, we will not be denied come Saturday. Okay, let's make sure we take care of ourselves. Let's go home, back to the hotel tonight. You can be with your families a little bit. Let's stay in the hotel. We'll have a great day tomorrow, and let's focus on finishing the job. All season long, every workout, every practice, every game, everything for the UND men's hockey team has led to this moment. 
facing Quinnipiac for the national championship. It's eighth overall and first in 16 years. There would be no denying the University of North Dakota. Let's go, man! Here you go, wife! With 11 freshmen on the roster, they were the ones that struck first. Shane Gersich and Brock Messer staked the Fighting Hawks with an early lead. Sit back for Osmus at the point. Osmus looks and shoots. Shane Gersich on the rebound of the freshman with his ninth goal of the season, and UND leads it one to nothing. With Messer and Gartag, Messer's got it. He scores. Open net, shorthander, Brock Messer, 2 nothing UND. Then, much like it has all season, UND got some timely goaltending as sophomore Cam Johnson came through with a number of big saves. As they have all season, the CBS line finished it off with two more masterful goals. Last has it to Kajula. He scores! Bisser on the near boards found Kajula cruising down the right side. Perfect pass. He comes in the hole, but Cade's caught up. Center to Kajula, he scores! Second of the game and it's a 4-1 North Dakota lead. Drake Kajula scored both and was named the tournament's most outstanding player. North Dakota put the final stamp on a championship with Austin Pagansky's 10th goal of the season, beginning a countdown to coronation in front of 19,358, mostly green, fans at Amelie Arena. On this night, the University of North Dakota raised it. get this done and bring it home for our fans and, and the alumni and uh, this program. It's, it's an amazing feeling. I just uh, couldn't be more lucky to be here, you know. Yeah, um, it's unbelievable. Uh, we've waited so long for this and I'm so proud of our team. You know, we battled day in and day out and to, uh, to play like we did tonight, it was, it was something special and I wouldn't want to do it with any other group of guys. Led by first-year head coach Brad Berry, this North Dakota hockey team will be remembered as one of the best in the program's history. 
with so many records, so many wins, so many memories. It's, it's funny, you know, standing here as, uh, as national champions. Uh, before the season, you know, I think uh, the fans and even maybe the, the, the coaching staff and the players had, uh, you know, their, uh, maybe there are some doubts with, uh, you know, question marks of the goaltender area of Zane McIntyre leaving. And, um, you know, older guys, older key role guys uh, that left and we wouldn't be able to, you know, maybe replace this year. But uh, all those questions were answered with Cam Johnson being unbelievable and all the freshmen coming in and doing a job right away. It was just, uh, it was an unbelievable season for us. Finished. There was a buzz around our team all season long and uh, there was that huge belief within our locker room about just how good our team was and, um, you know how much faith we had in ourselves to go all the way this year, and um, you know I, I, I've never been on a team that's been so confident and uh, gone out there and absolutely proven it every single game, and uh, it was just a special year altogether. Uh, obviously, we had our stars in the CBS line and whoever else, and Cam Johnson, but we had that next man up mentality. Whether guys were hurt, suspended, whatever happened, we just battled through it and uh, did whatever it took to get the win that night. So I think that's what was special about this group. Um, you know, I think. The thing that I'll remember most is just how tight-knit of a group that we were and um, you, you know it really showed on the ice. We went, we were brothers out there, we weren't just teammates, you know, we were a family, we were brothers. We all had that, that common goal that we wanted to win that national championship and you know finally end that drought. And, uh, you know it's just, you know, this, this group is just so special and um, you know I'm just lucky to be a part of it and honestly I can call them my family. You know I don't just say a bunch of best friends and stuff, you know I call them family. You know, you look back on the year and uh, the different up and downs that we've had, and just uh, ending on that high note, uh, especially uh, ending on that high note for myself and the last time I wore that jersey is pretty special. Yeah, you really have to cherish cherish years years like this one because uh, they don't come around very often. And just uh, you know, fortunate to be on this team. moment for a little bit here it's uh, you know it's a great thing that doesn't happen too often so enjoy the moment but at the same time in a couple weeks here we'll have to uh, you know get back to work for the next season and uh, hopefully hang that ninth one. <laughs>